Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a founder and creator here at Clever Photographer. Now before we gonna jump into the editing, uh, we have a few things we need to cover. First of all, if you wanna follow us along with the sample images, make sure that you head into the description, just click on the link and download the files we're gonna be using today before we're going to start. Second of all, if you do not own Luminar Neo, make sure that you follow again the link in the description and also when you get to the checkout, make sure that you use our code Clever Photographer all capitals all together and you will get additional 20% discount. Finally, we just want to ask you to make sure that you like on this video. If you like it, make sure that you comment and also share and subscribe our channel so we can keep creating content like this. So today we are looking at essential tools, otherwise in Luminar Neo known as essentials. So we are here in the application. Let's select this image and let's go into the edit module. Inside of the edit module, we are looking at the essential tools right here and we have the black and white tool right here. Now the black and white tool in overall converts a color photo to a black and white photo. That's quite simple. But it also contains a number of controllers that manipulate the monochrome look. Now, first of all, there is the button right here, which when you press it, it converts the photo to black and white. So that's quite simple. And then there are two options, the luminance and saturation. So first of all, the luminance. When the luminance button is selected, all these colors, the red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta, control the brightness of each respective color as it's converted to black and white. I will show you in a second when we're gonna be the editing. So don't worry about it too much. The second option, the saturation, what it does, when the saturation button is selected, each color slider introduces the respective color into the black and white image where it was presented in the original color image. Now that sounds crazy, but don't worry, I will show you all of that just in a moment. So let's start with the classic black and white edit right here, really simple. So we have converted the image by using the convert to black and white button. If you press it once again, it reverts it back. So once again, we press it and it brings it on. Let's first focus on the luminance. So once again, when the luminance button is selected, all these colors control the brightness of each respective color. So let's show, for example, there is a sky, which was obviously blue. When we go to the blue slider right here and we push it towards the right, you can see how the blue is getting brighter. So the color blue, wherever it was on the original uh, picture, it's getting brighter. When I slide it the other way around, you already guessed it, it's getting darker. Similarly, most likely somewhere here was lots of green because of the trees. When I go into the green slider, when I bring it down, they're getting darker. When I bring it the other way around, they're getting brighter and so on. So I'm sure you get the idea. It's really simple and you can use it for the benefit of creating extra contrast and extra energy and impact of the photo. So that's the simple edit. To see the black and white effect on another image, we're gonna go into the catalog. We will select this photo right here and let's go back to the edit module. Once again, we are in the essentials and we are still staying in a black and white toolbar. This is beautiful sunset with a beautiful foreground and a cityscape at the back. And we're gonna be still staying in our luminance bar and we click on the convert to black and white. It's still looking great. The black and white really improves the picture as well. And what we can again do, we can play around with the luminance. So let's see if there is any red. There is a little bit from the sunset. There is some yellow as well, so we can brighten it up a little. I don't know how much green there is, probably not that much. Cyan, I can't see much neither, but there will be definitely blue. So you can see I can either brighten the sky and the water, or I can darken it and create a little bit of vignette. So that is very cool effect. Magenta, there is a little bit as well. So once again, I can either brighten it up or darken it a little. So that's another example of how you can use the luminance and how you can really create even further impact. But now let's have a look at the saturation button. For that, we need to go back to the catalog choose this image right here of the car and let's go back to the edit. So black and white toolbar, let's convert it to black and white. Let's bring the saturation button up 
and we will remind ourselves what it actually does. So when the saturation button is selected, each color slider introduces the respective color into the black and white image where it was presented in the original color image. In my translation, what it means is, for example, you can see the green right here. So if I convert it back to black and white and push the green slider, it should show the green color. So let's push it. And there you have it, you can see. So the green comes out and you can create a little bit of the selective color effect. You can do similarly with blue. You can also do that with the green and so on. Now, this is very cool for certain projects. However, when you want to create the true selective color effect, it has to be done a little bit differently. So let me show you how we're going to do this. Let's go into the catalog. And this is really kind of bonus effect and bonus edit. We're not going to be focusing on masking today. However, I think it's good to cover it in the black and white episode as it's something what you can create later on when you're going to do further edits. So let's select this picture right here. Let's go into the edit module again, and we are still in the black and white. And what we really want to do, we just want to convert it to black and white and leave it there. And what we want to do is we want to leave the whole image black and white and really just bring out the yellow color of the car. So convert to black and white. And now what we want to do, we want to use the masking tool. So there is this little icon right here with the brush. We click on that. And here there are certain options here. So obviously we're going to be using brush. You can adjust the size of the brush right here. You can adjust the softness and you can also adjust the strength. And with the masking, all we're doing is we're telling the computer and the application, I either want the effect to be applied here or not applied here. So at the moment it's applied everywhere. So instead of using brush, we're going to be using eraser. We want to erase it from certain parts of the image. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. And very carefully, we're going to be painting with the eraser on the actual car. So let me show you right here. So we are basically removing the mask. Let's just click out and you can see how it's already starting to pop out. So we can do the bigger parts with a bigger brush. Let's just keep brushing. You can make it probably even bigger. You can use the bracket keys on your keyboard to make the brush bigger or smaller. It's really up to you and just keep brushing. Now, when it comes to the little details, we're going to make the brush a little smaller for that. So let's just do the bigger parts of the image. And now let's make the brush smaller. And let's also take the softness down a little bit. So now we basically brushing in these areas. And now this again is a tutorial for the masking. We will cover that in one of the future episodes. So don't worry about having perfect selection right here. This is just to give you an idea what you can do with this black and white tool. So again, we can just do this here. And just keep brushing. Make the brush a little bigger for this part. And this part. And you can take as much time as you need for your own edit. So don't rush it. Maybe what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the edit and just speed it up a little so I don't take too much of your time. However, I'm sure you're getting the idea. So let's just finish it off. And there you have it. So I think the result is really cool. What I wanted to remind you is once you in the masking tool and if you make a mistake and let me show you if I go over. So let's say I will um, take away some of the black and white effect from here. So obviously I didn't want to do that. I can just simply switch back to the brush and I can just fix it by painting back the black and white effect. So that was one more thing I wanted to remind you. 
let's go back let me show you the result which i think look really really cool now of course you can still apply the other effects to it you can switch it to the luminance and maybe push the yellow make it brighter or darker you can also push the greens and really work around with whatever you need and there you have it Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to subscribe and also check our other Luminar Neo videos on our channel. Once again, my name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.